Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on normal probability distribution. So we start with introduction. Basically, some random variables are best described statistically by the normal distribution function. The function is given by p of x is equal to 1 over standard deviation, square root of 2 pi, e raised to the power negative half into x minus the mean over the standard deviation all to the power of 2. And we look at the properties of the normal distribution. 1. It depends on the mean and standard deviation. B. The normal distribution curve is bell-shaped. And we have the diagram here. It is bell-shaped with a symmetrical line at the mean. Its function is continuous from negative infinity to positive infinity. The curve is symmetrical about the vertical line through the mean. This is the symmetrical line through the mean of the distribution. And we should note that since the normal distribution function is a probability function, the total area under the curve is 1. So the total area under this curve is always 1. We then go ahead to solve problems. Problem 1. The length of a species of fish is normally distributed with mean of 5.3 cm and standard deviation of 2.5. A fish is selected at random. What is the probability that its length is less than 4.5 cm? B. Greater than 6.4 cm. C. Between 3.5 cm and 5.9 cm and D between 2.5 centimeters and 4.9 centimeters. So we look at the parameters we are given. So we are given the mean to be 5.3 and the standard deviation to be 2.5. So starting from A, we are looking for the probability of X less than 4.5. It is always advisable to represent this information on the probability distribution curve. So we have it here. This is the x-axis. We'll be looking at x-axis for now. And uh, the mean is 5.3 through this line of symmetry. And then um, less than 4.5 should be around this place. This is 4.5 to the left. And this is the area we are looking for less than. So we are going to convert this uh, x value now to z score with the formula z equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So we are going to have z to be x, which is 4.5, minus the mean, which is minus 5.3, then divide by 2.5. This would give us negative 0.32. We then bring in the z axis. And the z axis, the mean point is 0. And to the left, which since it is negative 0.32, we have it here. Negative 0.32 is the z score for 4.5 centimeters. So that the probability of x less than 4.5 is equal to the probability of z less than negative 0.32. And since um, from here to this place, the area is 0.5. In order to get the area here now, what we'll do is the 0.5 minus this minus this which will give us this and the fact that it is symmetrical we are going to ignore the negative and return the positive value so that the area will be 0 0.5 minus p of 0 less than z less than 0 0.32 that is from here to this place is what we are going to look for then we now take it from here to the end which is 0 0.5 which will give us the area of the shaded Part. So that we have 0 0.5 minus this is going to be obtained from the table. So we have the table here. Uh, the 0 0.32 is equal to 0 
plus 0 0.02. So we are going to look on to for the Z where we have 0 0.3 and to the column of 0 0.2. So 0 0.3 to the column of 0 0.2. The intersection gives the value as 0 0.1255. So simplifying this, we have 0 0.3745. And if you are to express this as percentage, it gives 37.45%. So that's all for A. We then go for B. Um, for B, we are told that uh, the length is greater than 6.4 centimeters. So which means P of X greater than 6.4 centimeters. We still sketch this. The mean is here, and uh, 6.4 is to the right of the mean. So we have 6.4 here. The area we are looking for is to the right, the area of the shaded portion, which will represent the probability. But before then, we have to convert this to Z score. So see, maintaining our formula, Z is equal to 6.4 minus the mean 5.3 over the standard deviation which is 2.5 and this gives 0 0.44 representing it on the z-axis the mean is 0 here and uh, here is 0 0.44 so that the probability of x greater than 6.4 is equal to the probability of z greater than 0 0.44 again we look at from here to the right is 0 0.5 so what we do is we find the probability from the symmetrical line to 6.4 or 0 0.44 on the z-axis and then take it away from 0 0.5 so that we now have it as 0 0.5 minus probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.44 that will be representing the probability from this metrical line up to the line of the side that is shaded so that we now have it as 0 0.5 minus we go ahead again to check our table for 0 0.44 so if 0 0.44 again is the same thing as 0 0.4 plus 0 0.04, 0 0.4 under 0 0.04. And their point of intersection is 0 0.1700, which represents the area between this symmetrical line and this line of 0 0.44. So subtracting this, we have 0 0.33. And to percentage, we have it as 33%. And that's all for B. We then go for C. For C, we have uh, the length between 3.6 and 5.9. Uh, what we have here is probability of 3.6 less than 5.9. Um, from the curve, we have the mean here. 3.6 is to the left of the mean. We have the line there. 5.9 is to the right of the mean. This is the area we are looking for, which will represent a probability between 3.6 and 5.9. We then convert this to Z score 3.6 and 5.9 and the formula remains z equal to x minus mean over standard deviation. We are going to have our first value of z to be 3.6 minus 5.3 divided by 2.5 and that gives negative 0 0.68. And for z2, we are going to have 5.9 minus 5.3 over 2.5 and that gives 0 0.24 so that representing it here our symmetrical line is still 0 to the left is 
negative 0 0.68 and to the right is 0 0.24. So what we do is to find the area from here to this point and the area from here to this point and add. So this is still going to be maintained as positive so that the probability of 3.5 less than x less than 5.9 will be the probability from negative 0 0.68 less than z less than 0 0.24. We said we are going to find the area of this, find the area of this and sum them to give us the probability. So that's going to give us P of 0 less than z less than 0 0.68 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.24. So we then go ahead to find from our table 0 0.68. We split it again. This is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.08, 0 0.6, and 0 0.08. They are point of intersection. We have it as 0 0.2517. So 0 0.2517, then plus, we also look onto the table, the area from 0 to 0 0.27. So we split again, 0 0.2 and 0 0.04. So the point of intersection, which is 0 0.0848, we then add them to give us 0 0.3465. And in percentage, we have it as 34.65%, representing the probability that a fish is selected at random, its length is between 3.6 centimeters and 5.9 centimeters. That's all for C. We then go for D. So for D, the length is between 2.8 centimeters and 4.9 centimeters. So that we now have it as P of 2.8 less than x less than 4.9 and then um, sketching the curve we have the mean to be 5.3 this is before the mean both of them are before the mean and before the mean this area we are looking for now is between these two lines which is this so the next thing is to convert them to z scores so that z1 will be equal to 2.8 minus 5.3 divided by 2.5 and that gives negative 1 and for z2 we have uh, 4.9 minus 5.3 divided by 2.5 which gives negative 0.16 so on the z-score we have the mean still to be zero and uh, this is negative one and negative 0.16 this is to tell us that the probability of the length between 2.8 and 4.9 is going to be probability of negative one less than z less than negative 0 0.16 so we are going to find the probability from here to this point find from here to this point and subtract that's going to give us probability of 0 less than z less than negative 1 minus probability of 0 less than z less than negative 0 0.16 so looking at this from the table we have 1 and that's going to be 1.0 plus 0 0.00 this is the point here 1.0 0, 0 0.00 their point of intersection is 0 0.3413 then minus we look onto the table again for negative 0 0.16 that will give us 0 0.1 plus 0 0.06 0 0.1 under 0 0.06 this is the point of intersection which is 0 0.0636 so we subtract to give us 0 0.2777 
for percentage to give us 27.77 percent representing the probability that a fish is selected at random its length is between 2.8 centimeters and 4.9 centimeters that's the end of problem one this is the highest we can take in this video see you in our next video for the second problem on normal probability distribution check the description section of this video on our youtube channel for the video until we come your way again goodbye